Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Tip Tuesday. This week, it's going to be all about RV financing. It's a mystic trade, a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, and it can really cause a lot of stress for people. I know when my wife and I bought our first camper, we had no idea what to expect. We've covered in previous Tip Tuesdays what to look for when you're buying your first RV. We've covered what to look for if you're buying a used RV. Now I think it's time that we step into the finance side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple of our team members from our finance department, the real experts, and I'm gonna ask them, I don't know, five, six different important things that you guys should know when you're purchasing your RV, so stay tuned. Okay guys, we are sitting inside one of the super comfy Montanas here at the dealership. I've got these two people right here. You know, I told you I like doing the Tip Tuesdays, but I'm not always the expert. So I'm bringing in our finance experts. Guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hey, my name is Ryan. I'm the finance director at, at the dealership Walnut Ridge. And I'm Abby. I'm the finance coordinator. Perfect, guys. So here's what we're going to do, okay? Uh, I, I'm not giving you guys any time to practice or anything else. We're going to fire off five or six big uh, finance questions that I think a lot of people either don't know when they come to the dealership or if they didn't know, they should know, okay? And, and I'd like you guys to answer those. I'm gonna pick on you guys individually. We're gonna move to remote locations. We're gonna keep this video spicy, okay? All right, let's do it. So let's do it. I feel all like official setting here, right? Don't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this feels, feels well, good. I, I like this. Could you imagine like- I feel like I'm on, you had a 60 minute interview. Right? Yeah. With Dan Rava. And, and you're gonna, yeah. Just grill you? Grill me. Wouldn't it be nice though if you're sipping coffee and there's like beautiful, oh my God. right? That would be nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on the spot. Sure. First question, what is the difference between a recreational vehicle loan and like a traditional loan? And let me, let me give you a little sustenance to that, okay? Okay. I would automatically probably assume my first time at the dealership, I buy cars all the time. Sure. You know, we buy those all the time. Yeah. I'm getting like a 2% interest rate, a 3% interest rate, yeah. that type of thing. So what is the difference? What what sets an RV loan apart from a car loan? Well, it's definitely different in the fact that you have longer terms associated with a recreational loan versus an auto loan. So because it's a bigger term, amount. Exactly. Uh -huh. So the max term on a car is 84 months typically, depending on what dealer or what uh, lender you, you go through. But our average term is actually 144 to... 180 months, so 12 to 14, 15 years is a is a longer term. So they are going to have a higher interest rate because of that, because they're associated with you for a longer period of time. Also, the fact that it is not used for your daily use. It is a discretionary income piece. So they know that it's a higher risk of if something happened to you or, or maybe, you know, things didn't go right with your job. You might have to get rid of that first before you have to get rid of a car because you have to go use that again to get to your job. So this type of loan, a recreational loan, applies to like boats, sea dews, yes, absolutely, uh, side by sides, all that kind of all stuff. Of so you're kind of in that same boat. The Obviously, an RV is probably going to be well, maybe not. Some of those side by sides can be really expensive. Oh yeah, they can be expensive, and and these are you know probably one of the biggest purchases you're ever going to make. So you got to take the time, research know what the rates are going to be, and we certainly are happy to help and make sure we get you the best deal. Awesome. Great okay. answer, buddy. Okay, guys. I got Abby in the hot seat. I've got you in a more comfortable seat, though, right? You do, yeah. I mean, yes. Ryan was fine over there in the little <laughs> breakfast nook, but this is certainly nice. Yeah, yeah. So you're young, uh -huh. right? Right. You don't have all the gray hair going on like I do. Mm -hmm. You know how important budgets are. Oh, yes. Very important. So how important is it to at least have an idea of your budget before you come to a dealership? It's really important. Um, we're here at Walnut Ridge. We are here to make the most of your time, um, help you find what you need or want, um, and what's gonna fit into your monthly budget. So I think also it, it helps make the best use of a person's time when they come in, right? Because we're gonna do an interview process with mm -hmm. the person. Yep. We're gonna get an idea, how large is your family? How often are you gonna be traveling with your camper mm -hmm. and everything? Um, but, if we don't have a budget in mind, we may be taking you to something that's way below your expectation or way above your expectation, right? Yes. So, I mean, all of these things factor in when you've got, I mean, I'm sure you have a car loan yep. and all that stuff, right? And you just bought a house not long ago, didn't you? Yes, yeah. Congratulations. Sure yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. When are you buying an RV now? I'm not. 
We're going to work on it, Ryan, okay? <laughs> Ryan's off camera back there. We're going to work on you, all right? All right, well, now later. it's time to put Ryan back in the hot seat. All right. All right, Ryan. This is number three, actually. Number three. I have no idea how many of these we're doing. We're doing them all. I may keep you guys all day. I'm sorry. I don't know. So, here's what I want to talk about. The scary, scary, scary hidden mm -hmm. fees. Okay? Yes. Right? It's scary. It's, it's scary. It's so, I can only speak to, and I guess you have a little bit more knowledge. You've worked at other dealerships or you, you've been around. Definitely. Yeah, you've dealt with some stuff or heard the horror stories of people oh, coming certainly. in. At Walnut Ridge, <clears throat> at least, this price is the same price that they're going to see when they come back there with you with financing, right? Exactly. Now, they're going to have options that they can add. Certainly. There's always options that you can add, but they're optional. And you they're not hidden. On. No. They're, 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 they're presented to you. Absolutely. They're disclosed to you. Okay. So explain to me, don't, I know you could go on for hours. Don't right. do that with me. Okay. Right. Explain to me what exactly it, do we mean by hidden fees and what happens? Like it, if you're shopping anywhere at a dealership, not us, look, we, we love the outdoor experience. We love RV. That's what we're, here for. we're all about promoting you guys RVing, whether you're buying from us or another dealership. It's just important to get out there. Yeah. What are some things that people should look for or what are some of these hidden fees that they can ask questions about? Well, we are set apart because we're not we're not trying to use operating costs recoup uh, with fees. And I, I, I hopefully I said that right, but basically like if, if we have a unit come in from Elkhart and they charge us $370 or $800 or whatever it is to get it here, we're not trying to recoup that those funds from the from the customer we're putting the best price we can out here and when you come into the finance office we're not trying to recoup anything from you that we expensed getting here so i think that's the one of the, the hidden fees could be a transport fee the transport fee um, we go through all these units before the customer comes to pick them up and we're meticulous about it there are a lot of hours spent on this unit a lot of dealerships will say, hey, uh, Mr. Customer, if you want us to go and do that for you, even though we really should anyway, we're gonna go ahead and charge you $1,000 because that's how much it costs us to take it through the shop and we want you to pay for it. Is that the experience that you want as a customer or do you think that that's expected? I kind of think that's expected. So that, I agree with you. So that one to me, if I was setting as the customer, right. I think I would do some pushback on that one. And I would be like, um, I'm buying this off of you. I expect you to make sure that everything's working in it and that it's clean. Because that's customer service. Right, right. Exactly. So what's another hidden fee they could throw in there? Uh, hidden, other hidden fees or documentation fees. Um, you know, it, it does cost the dealership a little bit of money to get everything prepared and done. There's labor hours involved there. But, you know, when you're staring at a $500 fee to do a couple hours of paperwork, maybe that's a little egregious and right. so they can they can throw in a little bit there uh, to, to offset costs or even potentially profit off of it so how much give me like a, a min and a rough max ballpark could add up in hidden fees i've seen as high as like two two grand two grand yeah i've seen as high as two grand and, and it can be as low as 500 bucks so the important thing that i'm getting here and i know Ryan actually did my finance deal the first time that yeah. my wife and I bought a camper. Take your time, ask lots of questions, and understand that dollar <laughs> amount. If you talk to the salesperson about this and that amount is different in the back, you have a right to understand and know why that's larger. Yeah, and if you see that this unit is out there and they say, oh, it's just $500 less than Walnut Ridge, come in and see me. And then when you get to my office or the finance office, and it's twenty two nine ninety nine. You probably want to know why. Start asking questions. Yeah, that's not what's advertised. So, guys, there's the tip. Ask there lots is. of questions and don't feel rushed because until you put that pen to paper, you haven't done anything. Yeah. Okay, so you're back in the hot seat again. Yeah. Tell me how a dealership can help me find the best financing deal. Well, for example, I mean, if you just go just to your bank, you're only getting one mm -hmm. one rate um, whereas if you go through us and do our lending um, we are able to shop around with multiple lenders that we have a relationship with um, and work with on a daily basis um, and if you have a little bit of trouble with your credit in the past you know we can potentially talk to that bank and work something out with them and get you the best rate with that bank or 
So you guys, basically, and, and this is applicable to all RV dealerships mm -hmm. again. This isn't something exclusive to Walnut Ridge. All RV dealerships mm -hmm. have relationships with multiple banks. Right. Basically, because we buy or help with so many loans, mm -hmm. we have more negotiating power. I mean, I yep. think that's fair to say. All yeah. dealerships would. And if you've got a little issue with your credit, then that's something that we could probably help with because we can call Joe up at PNC or mm -hmm. J&B or one of those other billion banks and say, hey, Joe, we got to help, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Perfect. See, I'm giving you I'm giving you the low balls. Like, I these know. are easy. Yeah, they are. All right, I got one more in mind for Ryan. I'm hitting hard, okay? All right, sounds All right, good. Let's do it. Ryan, it's the last one I can think of. I'm going to give you and Abby the opportunity if there's something else you guys can think of sure. that I've missed. These are all just the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. That's sure. why, again, I got you two as the expert. Abby's hiding off camera right now. Um, I got a tough one for you, okay? Okay, brain buster. It's the scary dum 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 credit score. Credit score. Right? Yeah. So talk a little bit about, I think people want to understand where their credit score should be, how that affects the loan, mm -hmm. and and just in general, what's going to happen? So, so give me give me your your advice. There's a lot there to unpackage, but the the main point of it is is that if you know where you're at budgetary, we talked about that. Yep. If you know where you're at credit score wise, then we can put together a a platform, if you will, to get to where you want to go. Uh, the thing to know about your credit is really not just score, but how much you've you've used in the past. Yep. So if I've had a loan for only $11,000 and I've never shown that I've been able to pay for a $50,000 unit, that may be tough for me to get. So we may have to have more conversations about money down, things like that. Okay. So we have ways to get there any with any credit score, but we just maybe have to have more conversations. If you have a great credit score and you know that, then you know that we have a lot of options for you, maybe even some better terms than you were expecting. If it's a lower credit score, just maybe take the time to get your income statements. Yep. Um, take a look at uh, your monthly budget as far as a percentage. Typically, banks in the RV market want you to be 40% debt to income ratio. So if you know that you're more than that just by knowing your monthly budget, you're going to know that maybe we, we need to lessen that before you even come in. Yeah. So, so a key is... And I think this just goes to the whole overall like, experience. If you if you have a low credit score, mm -hmm. we may still be able to help you. Certainly. It may not be the greatest loan in the world. You may have to put a lot of money down or maybe higher interest rate. Yeah, or you may have to have some stipulations that we have to meet first. But then the other thing I think is you might be settling for a camper that you really didn't want. Right. You know what I mean? Like we may be able to put you in something, but that may not be the exact camper you wanted. So yeah. in some cases, Again, until you put that pen to paper, you haven't done anything. It might be best to walk away and say, "Yeah, I need to save some more money." And we're not—we're not a, you know, we don't provide credit counseling by right. any means. We can just give you some expertise on this is what I've seen happen, and this is where I've seen this result happen from these actions. But we're not telling people, "Hey, this is what you need to do to get away. right, right, right." Um, but it is important to know all that information. And it's extremely helpful, you know, in finding the exact RV that you want. And sometimes you might have to walk away, but at the end of the day, you're going to get the best deal by just going through that information. Also, we have a quick qualify that we do that's a non-intrusive uh, uh, credit pool, kind of like Credit Karma, things like that. So if you are even questioning where you're at or what, what we should do to get the best deal, you can submit that in. It's not a hard inquiry on your credit, and we can tell you exactly where we are. So it's not going to hit their credit. They're not, not going to lose any credit. points. Yeah. We actually have that um, on the website. On every single unit that you go to, we have the estimated payments. We have the estimated terms on that. And then just below that, we have a quick qualify. So you mm -hmm. click that, fill that out. It's super, super simple, and, and I it's love easy. that it's non-intrusive. So. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, thank you. I wish thank I could you. shake hands, but we've got the whole COVID, so we'll just do this. Okay, guys, that is it for this week's Tip Tuesday. Thank you both, Ryan and Abby, for your expertise. I really, really appreciate it. It's our pleasure. You're welcome. Guys, if you have additional questions, because I know we didn't answer everything and financing can be scary, 
leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to go pick these two's brains and get you the answer you're looking for. Have a great week. Have a good week.